AEW has a big freaking problem that needs to be addressed. It must be fixed. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what that is, how they can fix it, and what you should do about it if you are Tony Khan. Because I've, I, I really do believe that I've set the groundwork of fixing this problem. Now, look, I understand that there's a lot of tribalism in wrestling. I understand that there is the tribalism. I don't understand the tribalism. I don't believe in you being a WWE fan or an AEW fan. I also strongly, strongly don't understand and think it is ridiculous for you to be a WWE fan and you absolutely despise AEW and vice versa. At the end of the day, as someone who was raised as a WWE fan. In 20, 2004, I found TNA on freaking Fox Sports Net. And I'm like, oh, there's, there's an alternative. Oh, this is good. And I would start watching both programs. And when ROH went through their upswing and when New Japan went up their upstring, I paid attention to the bigger stuff. When AEW launched in 2019, it was such a pivotal thing for the wrestling business. Anytime you have an alternative, anytime you have another place for talent to work, you should want them to succeed. You should not want another promotion to go away. More places equal more jobs, which equals more money, which equals more content to cover. I wish TNA... I wish New Japan, I wish AEW were bigger companies. It is better for everyone. Now, since AEW has launched in 2019, there have been ups and there have been downs. And I think a lot of people will, will agree that they'll agree with two things. One, the peak of AEW was in 2021. That creative, that booking, those matches phenomenal the influx of all that talent right whether it be your brian danielson's your adam cole's your cm punks that was the peak and they really downfalled in in the, the late 2022 now why did AEW succeed in such a big way right out of the gate vince mcmahon and I think it's very clear to draw a connecting line to him and AEW because that came at a time where wrestling fans had been so fed up with the WWE product, the mediocre product, the horrific product that WWE and Vince McMahon was giving us on a weekly basis. And here was an alternative. And they were having banger matches after banger matches. And yes... AEW has cooled off. WWE is in full force. Now that leads us to today's topic because I was doing a recent inter, uh, not an interview, but I was doing a recent video in regards to Chad Gable not even considering going to AEW and it made me think, self, there's a problem that AEW needs to fix. And that leads us to today's video because yes, AEW has hands down the most loaded and stacked talent roster in the history of the wrestling business in my opinion although you could make this strong argument that it is either comparable or just slightly below that of the NWA in the 86 to 89 run of that promotion and WCW obviously and I would agree with that but what AEW has a problem with is, yes, you have so much talent to the point where you can't use half of your talent pool, despite the fact that you have a two-hour program on Dynamite, a two-hour program of Collision, a one-hour program of Rampage, in addition to ROH television. You can't use half your talent roster. But more importantly, you can only use a subsection, a niche of said talent roster that can actually move the freaking needle that draws ratings that sells tickets that boosts social engagement you know tony khan has booked his promotion off of good matches and that has got him very very far but at a certain point it's only gotten him so far right it hasn't gotten him over over the hump in terms of where i think a lot of people thought they would be within five years that's a problem 
because they have a talent roster that is very, very talented in ring wise. All these guys can go. And I was talking about it in my Chad Gable video where, yes, if he went to AEW, should he have not re signed with WWE in June? Would he have been a, a welcome addition to the roster? Yes. Would he have put on great matches? Yes. Would he have moved the needle? No. There's a lot of guys in AEW that can go in the ring. They cannot move the needle. And when you are trying to build new talent and build a company and grow a company, you need guys that can talk. And there's not a lot of guys in AEW that can talk that are under the age of 35. Right? That's just a reality of the situation. There's guys like Ricky Starks who are sidelined for whatever reason. Guy can talk. Guy's a star. Guy moves needles. Right? But if you can't figure out a way to sign talent that can actually do promos, who can build programs without in-ring work, who can sell me on a feud going into a pay-per-view event by simply speaking into a mic, you've got a problem. And AEW has that problem. You know, we're not in 2019 anymore, y'all. We're in 2024, middle of 2024. It's not a situation where you can sign anyone and everyone. It's not a situation where you have all this talent room for new, fresh talent. You don't. Not only... Do you have reportedly a hundred million dollar talent roster budget? I would say 75%, 80% are guys that can't talk. So at the end of the day, you can have the reputation of, well, we have the greatest matches in the world. Yeah, that's probably true. But is it worth being number two the entire time? And a distant number two at that? Or do you want to take a real run at WWE? And if you do, you need guys that can talk. If you want to be more profitable, if you want to make more money, if you want to give talent more money, if you want to create new jobs, you have to draw money. And this goes back to a previous video I did in regards to CM Punk. And in regards to the fact that he said that he's in the money-making business with pro wrestling and Tony Khan is into, you know, classic matches business. And he goes, I'm here to draw money. You're not. And he's true. And it's true. He's right. Tony Khan's got to fix that. And he can only fix that by signing the right. Hey, y'all, real quick, account. make sure you join the movement. And join everyone in smashing, obliterating that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload new wrestling content here to the channel. Hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you all so much for your support and help changing me and my family's life. And I will see you all next time.